guys welcome back to my youtube channel where we speak lies speak what you seek until you see what you said if you don't know who i am my name's debbie and i am many things but today i'm going to be an ems provider and i'm going to take you guys along in my journey so today it is my 24 hour shift rotation um and so that starts at 12 p.m saturday which is today um, and it ends 12 p.m. on Sunday, so this is going to be super exciting. I wanted to take you guys along with me because I received a lot of positive commentary under my other two EMS vlogs, and I haven't done one in a long time. So one thing I will say is congratulations to those that passed the NRMT, and congratulations to those that are going through the classes or are going to take the classes. Don't stress yourself about it. You guys are going to do great. As long as you study the material and you're very passionate about being an EMS provider, you'll be fine. Um, our station has gone through some changes based off the, the pandemic. They're being super safe. We used to have about seven to nine co-pilots. Co-pilots are those that help out the aid or the EMT in charge. Because of Christmas, there is a tree lot out and <laughs> I'm gonna try to give you guys footage of the tree lot, but to be honest, there's barely any trees in there. So uh, yeah, they're selling Christmas trees and so we have co-pilots there and we also have only one co-pilot on each unit and not even that because I think we have a medic student coming in so there's only gonna be two co-pilots at the station so it's a lot of uh, a lot of changes that we have to get used to but overall it's just to keep us safe anyways I'm gonna stop talking and before anything if you guys have not subscribed to my youtube channel go ahead and click that red button down below so that you guys can be a fellow subscriber of my channel and also click that bell icon so that you guys can get notifications like this and give this video a big thumbs up I would really appreciate it I think it's about to be nine o'clock yeah, it's about to be 9 o'clock and for my Hispanics out there, I am making horchata and choco bananos for the station. They wanted to limit cooking, so I at least wanted to bring something that was easy to make and quick. So uh, I have to go to the store to buy a little bit more things that I forgot to buy yesterday. Um, and then I'll take you guys along. I'll be at the station at 1030. You guys will meet Lizzie. And yeah, we'll get started with this video. These are the uniforms I have. I have two short sleeves and a long sleeve, and because it's cold outside, um, we switch to long sleeves. But these are the little, um, you know, the badge that I get for being at Wheaton, uh, the little studs that I get, and I finally got my name tag. But we have our little patches on the side, and it just makes us look a little bit more professional because Wheaton in general is very professional. So we just have to be presentable for one, our patients, the hospitals, and also other stations that we meet along the way, whether they come on calls with us, it's like the medics, or you know, the rescue squad, the engine, the towers, any like that. We just have to look presentable. Hey guys, I arrived at the store. I'm at Giant. Um, so I'm gonna go get the stuff that I'm missing and then I will catch you guys at the station. I made it to the station, um, so right there. But right now I'm waiting for Lizzie because she's gonna help me bring all this stuff in. Um, and then we're gonna start making the choco banano and then the horchata. The shift starts at 12, so hopefully we get done. I, I don't see why we wouldn't get everything done by then, so yeah, we'll just see. Guys, I'm at the station and Hi. here is Lizzie. You guys remember her from the first vlog. She's the second aid, EMT in charge. Are you excited for today? Yes. Hopefully we'll have a good shift, right? Yeah. But she's gonna be on second due, and I'll be on first. So we'll see how the day goes, because if she's gone and I'm gone, <laughs> then you know it's been like a busy day. So right now we're gonna go to the kitchen and we're gonna start the chico bananos and the horchata. Tell me these do not look good. Yes, made by yours truly. 
And then we made the also basic ones because those are awesome bomb too. This is my cup and then she's gonna fill hers up. Guys, you guys remember Aliana from the other weekend duty? She just came in. And I just want to let you know that typically this is how we come into shift. We come in comfortable and then we end up changing into our whole uniform. So, hi Aliana. Hi Debbie. <laughs> look at us. We look cute. <laughs> we look cute. <laughs> yeah, so we're ready. It's currently uh, 11, like 40, I think. And we're gonna wait to see if we can relieve the crew early from Friday. If not, then it is what it is. Um, and then I'm just putting together some of my stuff, so getting my radio Her strap. Her radio strap is so good. She ordered it in the same place that I ordered mine. It's got the same colors. Yeah, same mm -hmm. colors and everything. <laughs> we're so alike. Anyways, I gotta go check out first too, so. We're checking out the unit. Yeah. She has her Starbucks coffee. That's so funny. Now we're gonna check out the unit, the EPCR, check the cabinets, make sure this is working, which I don't see why it wouldn't. And are you not cold? I'm no. <laughs> no. Not right now. I probably won't be soon. Yeah, you I'll should probably get a. You should probably get a sweater, honestly. But yeah, we're gonna go check all this out, and I'll catch you guys later. Like one adult or uh, one infant TV, I mean, two adult and two pediatrics. Is that fine? That's fine. I'd rather have eggs. Yeah. Is that trying to tell us something? <laughs> I don't know, man. I hope not. Yeah. It looks like we finished, almost finished checking out first, too. Uh, we're just checking the AED and the suction. Um, second dues getting checked out, I believe. I'm gonna go see if Lizzie needs help. Right now, we're having, uh, I don't think she has a co-pilot to help her, but I'm sure she's gonna be able to get through the shift. So we're in the second do ambulance, and they're just finished checking out their unit. And it's currently, what is it, like 12.40? 40 minutes in our shift. Oh, and Abe is taking the ambulance outside. So that means that we're gonna go ahead and wash the ambulance. So right now we're gonna wash our ambulance because it's a little bit dirty. So we have soap and water and then he's just rinsing out the ambulance. All right, so this is Chief, Chief of the Wheaton Volunteer Rescue Squad. Hi everybody. My name's Mark Dempsey. I'm the Chief of the Rescue Squad. I've volunteered here since 1978. 1978, you guys, yep. Uh, and he's and a, he rides also what he's on, the Rescue Squad. How long have you been riding the Rescue Squad? Since 1981. A long time so. so almost almost 40 years on the rescue squad yeah and it's really tough it's really tough being on here for that for that long and everything so yeah this is our team yeah, you guys know abe he's my driver for today so it's gonna be a good shift is it i hope so <laughs> look at us all working <laughs> to clean this ambulance we're drying it off now and abe is just rinsing it off but it looks so pretty Hey guys, so you obviously remember Chris from our first video, the 24 hour shift. I'm a uh, firefighter EMT and I uh, ride the thing that's behind us right now. Yeah, so what, what is that thing? Uh, that's called a rescue squad. Uh, what it is, it's essentially a giant toolbox on wheels. Uh, it is a fire truck and we do firefighting things, but the unique thing about this truck in particular is that there are no hoses on it. In fires, we're the people that go in and search for people potentially trapped search inside rescue, the building. Search and rescue, guys. Exactly. Search and rescue. So exactly. how do you expect shift to go today? Uh, you know, it's 24 hours of unpredictability. <laughs> so uh, there's really no expectation. We had a busy shift this past Thursday. We did. <laughs> they did. Too. We were all up uh, for a while. So I'm hoping it's a little bit low key to start. Uh, shift already started, so we'll see how this day goes. <laughs> Abe's already praying that we have a better shift. <laughs> That's us. <laughs> so we just got a call, so I'll meet you guys after we head out. Hey okay, guys, so we just made it to the hospital. We just transported the patient. Um, we're about to, right now we're cleaning up the ambulance to put it back in service. 
and we're gonna head to the station see if we get any more calls shout out to Aliana because I let her notify the hospital usually the EMT in charge does that but if the co-pilot does know how to do it and they would like to practice uh, then they could and she did a great job so good job Aliana but anyways right now I'm just waiting for them to come back those are the other ambulances that are there with other patients and yeah so I'll see you guys in the next call. There was a guy who was an engineer. He made a UV. Yeah, that UV light comes up. Dude, look at. So put it in the phone. Oh, like or anything. Or stethoscope on your your camera. I think it's. And then he said four minutes is the standard. That's pretty cool. That's so awesome. Yeah. It's a UVC decontamination box. That's so cool. I didn't know people can make those kind of things. Yeah, me That's neither. Crazy. People are very creative, but we'll see if it works. How do we know if it works? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Guys, <laughs> <laughs> we are in the bunk room. I don't think I've ever showed you guys, or if I, I don't remember. But I wanted to show you these little cool features. So this right here is an air filter that the station put because of COVID. They're trying to um, limit the amount of like you know bacterial particles in the air COVID particles in the air so this is on like all the time and it filters out obviously the air and they also added these like how do I say uh curtains I guess we're not really allowed to sleep next to each other so we t tend to do like diagonals um so that we're not sleeping next to each other but this is my bunk or it was my bunk until you know I have to allow Natalie who's coming in tonight you'll probably see her she has to sleep here, so I'm gonna grab my stuff. And I'm actually gonna move. I also bought a new strip of blanket because it gets cold in here. And the blanket that I had is this one, so I probably had double blanket. It's not. It's never a bad thing to have double blankets in here because it gets super cold. Guys, I made my bunk and it's super soft. Um, yeah, it's Sherpa, and you can never go wrong with this. <sighs> Anyways. Right now, it is, I think it's 2 o'clock or 2.30. Actually, no, I, it's 3 o'clock, I lied. Um, and we're just waiting for calls. Usually, in between calls, we're either chilling, resting, talking. Um, but yeah, there's really not much to do because of the co-pilot limitation that we have. We usually uh, are doing drills at this time, but we don't have co-pilots that need to do drills so we're just really chilling this is super comfortable dude <laughs> oh my gosh i should probably take a nap but uh, i hate taking naps in the station because i when i wake up for a call i get discombobulated and disoriented and i don't know what's going on so we'll see but hopefully i can see you guys in my next call so this is melissa she is hey a medic student she is a driver but she's still an aide but she's advancing to be a medic a paramedic which is awesome so how's that uh it's going really well it's pretty challenging it's um a little bit different compared to being an aide it's just you're building up on those skills from like starting at a basic life support to advanced life support uh level so you're doing more of a let's say an aggressive type of uh of care towards your patient. After I finish the class portion, then I'm going ahead and I'm going to go over to the uh, hospital rotation. So I'm going to go to cath labs, I'm going to go to different like shock trauma, different um, hospitals with different capabilities. And then we're going to go over and uh, keep writing until my preceptor tells me when I'm ready to test with our uh, medical director. Awesome. And then from there, get cleared off. And so how like how far are you in in the program uh so right now probably like halfway through really yeah so i'm just finishing up cardiology i test test tomorrow i'm sure it's difficult right yeah uh it's very challenging you're mostly going to be in your books but i mean you can definitely do it if you just push yourself you go through emt class you know you build those skills in emt and then after you want to challenge yourself a little bit more and then you can go ahead and be a paramedic um it, it's really rewarding too when you when, when you're a paramedic both as an EMT and a medic. Yeah. Quick update it's currently 4 30 um close to five so five hours within the shift and for some reason I feel like it's going really really slow but we got dispatched to a DOA which means dead on arrival um super sad we had to uh pronounce time and location of death 
and the police officers got involved, investigation started, and uh, that was that. Super sad, but we also have to, um, EMS personnel has to deal with that. Then we got dispatched to another call. It was injured person. Supposedly the guy fell off his bike and broke his shoulder, or thought he broke his shoulder because we ended up getting put back in service, so we didn't provide any care. But so far, that's been our um, shift. We ordered Chinese food. Everybody loves our chata. And I don't think everybody knows that we have choco bananos in the freezer, but I'll let them know. But anyways, yeah, that's the update. Sorry if I'm not keeping you guys with me consistently, but I'm trying. So, um, I have double check. It is actually. It is, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong. All right, like you guys know, we got dispatched to interfacility transport. So I think we're going to a nursing home and we're just taking a patient to the hospital. So I'll see you guys after. Uh, real quick guys, we are at a hospital and I just wanted to show you something real quick. First time I've been here, he's been here multiple times, so he's going to go ahead and show you what this area is. So we are at MedStar Washington, or Washington Hospital Center. It's a level one trauma. A level one trauma simply means that there's it's staffed 24 hours, 7 days a week with trauma doctors. Um, so we come here every time, one, it's a level one trauma, or two, our local trauma hospital is on total reroute or on bypass so this is our next closest one and then so over here you have the helipad which is where helicopters come and land and it could be to for incoming patients or patients that are going to get transferred to a different facility so pretty cool we don't come down here that often so it's always nice when we get to yeah this is actually my first time coming down here if you're lucky you can see a helicopter on the helipad but that's every once in a while so he was lucky. I guess I wasn't lucky because I didn't see anything. <laughs> By sheer coincidence. But yeah, we're in DC, in the capital. Right, you can see it. I don't think they can see it. They can see it. <laughs> Guys, comment down below if you can see it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they can see it. I'm circling around the bonfire. You should talk to um, Derek. Derek's coming back. Yeah, oh, you want to get? We're gonna put the tree in the thing. You want to get that on film? Are you serious? Yeah, because that'll go straight up. Oh, awesome. Is that the last tree? Yeah. It's Charlie Brown tree. Should we do s'mores first, then tree, or tree, then s'mores? Tree, then s'mores. Alright, let's do it. I, this whole lot, guys, was filled with Christmas trees, because we did Christmas tree lots and so we were selling it. But now, there's nothing here. So we're going to bring the last tree, because I guess that's what we do. Juan, this, this is like my second dad. What's this going is my dad on? in the station. Absolutely. How you, you guys doing? remember? <laughs> yeah, he is. I'm that old, Taco. I'm that old, yeah. <laughs> I know, this is Auntie Taco. Yes. They, they know him. They know her. They know you for the first video. What's up, so. vloggers? What's poppin'? What's, it's not vloggers, it's viewers. Oh. Hey, what's up, viewers? <laughs> I can't with them, dude. Uh, oh yeah, this is my dad. What's going on, guys? How you doing? <laughs> doing good. Debbie's a champ. He's a champ. Nah, she yeah. is. He's on one keep. Sucia. Covered bananas, yeah. <laughs> this tree is more than just a trunk and branches. This tree represents all the things that have been messed up with 2020. And for that, we're going to move on to the new year by burning this 
very viciously in this very hot fire. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I'll, uh, it's not in flames yet, so I will record it when it's literally in flames. It's gonna smoke oh, a lot. It's smoking up, girl. It'll get Wait, you, this is this is why uh, you water your Christmas trees. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh, oh, it's getting there. It does. Ah. Oh, whoa! Whoa! <laughs> 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 There you have it guys, we burned the tree, the last tree in the tree lot, and yeah, there's no more trees, so... <laughs> Rip. Domino. Okay. It's abdominal pain, guys, but the chase car's coming with us, like the medic, so I'm a bit confused. I don't know why, but we'll see. I don't know. Probably something serious. It's currently 12.16. We're just coming. Do you know how many calls we ran so far? Um, about like I want to say seven to eight. Seven to eight. Yeah. So it's twelve sixteen, and we're heading to the station. Thank God we had that like twenty minute break to eat Chinese food, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was perfect. Yeah, that was perfect because then we ended up getting uh, called back to back. But yeah, you probably can't see me, so I'm not even gonna turn the camera. But. We'll see how tonight goes. Hopefully it's not as busy and that all the calls just went, but I don't know. I'll try to keep you guys uh, with me, but it gets difficult in the nighttime because <laughs> you're going to sleep. So I'll probably see um, if I reach you guys again in the morning. So, yeah. Hey, say hi to Debbie. Leo. Yes, sir. Say hi to Debbie. Candy. <laughs> the next day. Hey guys, it is currently 8:22. Um, we got a call. We so we got a total of eight calls. I think nine calls. Um, we came back from the the second to last one at 1 30 and then we got dispatched at like 3 34 in the morning <sighs> you could tell a girl's tired anyways um overall the shift has been pretty decent um sleep has been i guess provided but we had to wake up this early to clean the base like last time you guys noticed on our weekend duty we always do it on sunday mornings um so that's what we're doing right now I have to wake up, <laughs> brush my teeth, wash my face, and then we do that, and uh, I'll see if we get breakfast. I don't know. I'm not really a breakfast person, so, but I'm sure someone else would want breakfast. And yeah, sorry if I haven't kept you guys up to date like I want to, but I'm hoping that I got enough to show you guys um, how busy it was during the pandemic, especially. Uh, surprisingly, we didn't get any PUIs, which means a patient under investigation which means that we would have to put on PPE you know the face mask um, the N95 and the gown and everything so oh, I know I'm gonna wake up and then go help them clean the face okay guys I came to help but no one's here so I have to find everybody to see where they're at but <laughs> anyways uh, all the units are out and it's ready to be swept and mopped, I guess. And, but yeah, I don't know where everyone's at. <sighs> we'll go find this, because I ain't doing this alone. 
guys, it's currently almost 9 o'clock and we got dispatched to an inter-facility transport so we're probably going to go to a nursing home and transport the patient to the hospital, so. Finished transporting that patient. It's currently 9.52, so we still have two hours left in our shift and... Paramedic at 841. Uh, yeah. Paramedic at 841. We're gonna have to see if we're gonna get other calls. Cause if not, then this was our shift, but I will for sure bring you guys in the next one, if I don't forget. Yeah, so we just finished transporting a, well not transporting, we did vitals for a PUI patient and the PUI patient ended up not going to the hospital. So we have to dink on the whole unit, like the back of the unit. And then I also have to restock on PBE cause we used that. Um, look at the mask we went through. This box was filled in the beginning of the shift. But overall, yeah, we're gonna rinse out the back of the unit, change the sheets, and yeah. Also a log of all the PPE and Rescue 2 or Wheaton Station that we use. And this is just to make sure that we, um, we restock accordingly and we don't run out of PPE. And I'm on ambulance for to Delta, so that's for that. And I didn't, I didn't take any face shields, but I grabbed this much. And then this right here is all our PPE um, stock. We have N95s, our face masks, we have surgical masks, and then our gowns, so yeah. Do you think today was a productive uh, weekend shift, Abe? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Just because okay, they will them for one Bravo aware. There were a lot of first times for a lot of things, so it's always a good learning okay. experience. Yeah, that's very true. That's that just teaches you that every day you can learn something new. Yeah, exactly. Even you may think you know everything and boom you don't, right? So <laughs> why wise words from Abe himself. <laughs> Anyways, uh, guys, it's currently 1114 and I'm not sure if we're gonna get dispatched for a call but right now they're cleaning the bays and we're just doing last minute preparation so uh, I'll probably catch you guys when I'm ending the vlog but as of right now we'll see I don't know this he she he, he is uh, three and a half months oh my god is a what is it a black lab black lab that's yeah. so awesome dude what's his name ace ace Hey guys, this is Sophie. She's an uh, aide on Sunday, so she's actually taking over our shift right now, so yeah. So, but that's her dog. Oh my god, hey! Okay, so I'm gonna end the vlog here because I have to pack up a lot of things and I won't be able to talk to you guys but overall I feel like today was very this weekend was very productive I did learn a lot of things because again as an EMS provider you're not gonna be able to know every single thing so whatever chance you get whatever opportunity I highly suggest that you take advantage of that um, but right now I'm finishing up a refusal that we did for a patient she didn't want to go to the hospital um, and then I just gotta notify the aide what I used uh, the people that are taking over the shift and then grab my stuff and we're good to go so i hope you guys really appreciate this vlog if you haven't done so yet please 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 click the red button down below to subscribe to my youtube channel give this video a big thumbs up and then also click that bell icon so that you guys can get more notifications like videos like this anyways i thank you guys so much and i love doing these vlogs for you guys because i know you guys really learn a lot from it um but yeah see you guys later